Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing good. First of all, I want to wish you guys a very, very happy new year. 2015 is coming to an end. And I really want to thank you guys who are watching my videos for all your love and support throughout the year. I really hope we'll continue this cute relation in 2016 as well. And many more years after that as well. So yes, I will be trying really, really hard to not to disappoint you. And yes, for today's video, I'm going to create this fun glittery eye look with a beautiful ombre lip which is perfect for me this is not a difficult to do look guys if you got everything what you need for this look like a glittery eyeliner or a loose glitter or an eye pigment you can totally do this look and for the lips you just need two products like a dark lipstick and a neutral lipstick like a nude shade uh, if you haven't got a neutral lipstick if you got a neutral lip liner you can use that one or even if you haven't got a lip liner it is totally fine you can just use a concealer and you can uh, dab it in the center of your lips and use a lip brush to blend the concealer and the lipstick that is going to give you pretty much the same effect so if you like this look and if you want to know how to get this look then keep on watching so as you can see guys i've only done half of my eye and eyebrows i haven't done any foundation because we're going to work with glitter today so there might be a little bit fallout that is the reason i haven't done my foundation so i'm going to show you on the other eye what i've been up to so to start off the look i've used a bit of a concealer on top of my eyelid and set it with some uh, flesh toned eyeshadow and now i'm going to use this mac mm, amber times palette this one and i'm going to take this shade here this one and i'm going to apply it all over the eyelid and by the way we're going to use this piece of tape as a guideline uh, for our wing because we need that sharp wing going so I'm going to apply that eyeshadow all over the eyelid. The whole focus of this eye look is going to be on wing and glitter guys. So I'm keeping everything pretty neutral. I'm not going to do anything on top of the eye. I'm just going to add a bit of dimension to the eye. And for that I need to take this eyeshadow. This is like a really soft brown. This is not going to do much for the eye. But it is going to add that subtle contour to the eye. I'm just going to apply that in the crease. And now I'm going to take my Maybelline gel liner and I'm going to do a wing eyeliner with this one. I'm going to do a pretty thick wing that I usually do. And now I'm taking this tape off. As you can see, that tape was like a really sharp thing. And also, guys, I've got like powder tips. As you can see, this part of my eye falls on the lid. So that is the reason I kind of do like a medium thickness wing like not too thick and not too thin but if you do not have that problem do your liner really thick and bold that is going to make everything more dramatic and on top of this i'm going to go with this makeup kick eye pigment this is like a beautiful black and gold kind of pigment this is in the shade utopia i'm going to apply that on top of the liner i'm going to take that on a small brush and i'm going to press it gently If you got a glitter glue, you can just apply the glitter glue first and you can apply this pigment on top of that. That is going to make everything really really easy. And also there is one more way you can um, use this pigment. If you got Kindler Jewel Line, you can mix this pigment with that and it kind of gives you a gel consistency like a gel eyeliner consistency and you can just apply it on top of the liner. But for today, I'm just going to use this eye pigment like this. Just apply this eye pigment. on all of your gel liner as you can see this one got a noticeable amount of fallout i'm not sure whether my camera is catching up or not 
but if you have already done your base makeup just make sure you apply a thick layer of powder under your eye that is going to make your cleanup process really really easy or you can just use a tissue and you can hold it like this and apply I mean not with one hand you can hold it like this and apply your filter now I'm going to take a piece of tape and I'm just going to press it down again as small space wherever I see the filter so this kind of helps to uh, take the glitter out as you can see this one catches but really really good and now I'm going to take this actual glitter eyeliner this is from LA Splash this is like a beautiful gold glitter eyeliner and I'm going to go on top of this one If you want to make this look more quicker and easier, you can directly go with the glitter liner on top of your wing. You do not have to use pigment and liner both. Uh, but I think that pigment adds a little more of drama. And now I'm going to take this Colourpop Ultimate Eyeliner. This is like a black felt tip liner. And I'm going to go over that wing and really sharpen the wing a bit. Uh, you can definitely use the same black gel liner, but I think this one gives more control over that liner. I'm going over my wing. As you can see that black line kind of makes everything more defined and put together. So before moving on to the lower lash layer, I'm going to do foundation and come back. So guys, I've done my foundation and I've finished doing one of my eyes. And now I'm going to move on to the concealer. I bought this new Maybelline Fit Me concealer and I bought the shade 20. This is uh, like second lightest shade, I believe. This is like a few shades lighter than my skin tone. I bought this only for the highlighting purpose to cover up the dark circles and uh, other blemishes on my skin. I use my MAC Select Moisture Cover Concealer. So I bought this one only for highlighting purpose. So I need to highlight my under eye area with this one. I really think this is a wonderful concealer for me for highlighting because this one got the right amount of pinks and right amount of yellow in it. I'm just going to put this concealer. I really like this concealer. This one is really easy to blend. Do let me know guys if you want to see a full on review on this one. And now I'm going to set my concealer with this palette and Doris loose powder. And for the lower lash line, I'm not going to go any dramatic. I'm just going to go with this uh, Lacme Iconic Casual in brown. And I'm just going to softly apply this on my lower lash line. I'm just dabbing that line over there as you can see. And now I'm going to soften that line a bit. If you want to go a bit more dramatic, you can definitely smooth the lower lash line out. But I really want to keep this soft. And now I'm going to curl my lashes, apply some mascara, and I'm also going to add some falsies. I'm going to use this Ardent Demi Lashes. And the mascara I'm going to use today is this L'Oreal Volume Million Lashes. And now I'm going to go with the same palette, MAC Invertance palette and I'm going to use this shade called Rice Paper to highlight my brow bone area and inner corners. And I'm also going to take this glittery eyeshadow and I'm going to dab it a bit on my inner corner. And now we're going to move on to the face and first I'm going to take this 
uh, Pahama Mama bronzer and I'm just going to add a bit of dimension to my face. I'm also going to contour my nose a bit. And for the blush, I'm going to use this Essence blush. This is a beautiful corally pink kind of shade. This is in the shade 20. And now for the highlighter, as this has an evening look, you can definitely go overboard with the highlighter. And for today, I'm going to use this Calabar Radiant Glow Highlighter, this one. I'm just going to apply this on top of my cheekbones. And I'm just going to blend that with my finger. And on top of that, I'm going to go with my Balm Mary Luminizer. And for the lips, you can pretty much go with any kind of lip. You can do a really bright lip or a neutral lip or something like really deep dark wampy. For today, I'm going to use this Maybelline Superstay 14 hour lipstick. This is in the shade 100. This is like a really dark wampy shade. I'm going to apply this straight from the bullet. And on top of this, I'm going to go with this like really nude lip pencil. This is going to give you the beautiful ombre lips. I'm going back with the dark shade with a lip brush. And I'm just going to outline my lips with this. And this is the finished look guys. I hope you had fun watching this video guys. I really enjoyed creating this look for you because I've never done anything similar before so it's kind of a surprise for me on each and every step and I really love the way how it turned out and if you like this look Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and once again i wish you and your families a very very happy new year and yes i'm going to see you in next year bye